Hey, so I just wanted to do a quick update for you guys. Uh, starting with this clip here, I actually forgot I had it. This was the next day after the procedure um, at the hotel after I did the first wash. Um, I didn't have any bleeding or draining. Um, that night I actually slept with a towel just in case. And when I woke up, there was no blood or leakage on the towel. So um, I was pretty lucky in that regard because I knew that I know that happens um, with some guys. Before we got into the hair update, I wanted to talk about the items I've been using for my donor area. So um, right now I've been using the tin skin and on, on the right of that you can see the uh, dropper bottle. I decided to use that instead of a cotton swab because I feel as though the cotton swab actually absorb a lot of the, the, um, the liquid so not much is getting on your head so with the dropper it's concentrated so you're putting it directly onto the bump where it could actually sink into the skin and then next on um, what i'll do is like after the tin skin dry i'll uh i'll uh, put some tea tree uh oil on it and that's for like dry and itchy uh hair and it has you know vitamin e aloe vera and it's for um fungus too to fight fungus because a lot of the times um the bumps come from infections. And then at night, I'll throw on the NADS ingrown, sooth, um, ingrown solution. Um, that's actually good for uh, razor bumps and hair bumps. Uh, it comes with aloe vera in it as well. It's actually quick drying. So uh, I'll just put that in my hand and put it on the back of my head at night before I go to bed because I don't want to have to uh, go to bed with a uh, tea tree oil uh, in the back of my head, uh, messing up my pillows. So uh, these three uh, ingredients here is what I currently use for my donut area. It is actually, it's actually working pretty well. Um, a lot of my bumps are turning flat, so um, I barely could film now. Um, and my sleeping is getting more comfortable. I think by the time I hit month two, all of my bumps are going to be most likely completely gone. I also use this Benny Cream Bar. It helps with um, bacteria and fungus. I, I use this on my donut area and I also use it on my forehead because um, I got some acne uh, on my forehead after the procedure. Um, another guy in um, a comment said that it happened to him, so I guess it's a little bit normal to get um, some acne on your forehead after uh, after an FUE procedure. But I, I so I used this um, bar of soap on my forehead in my donut area, and since I started using this, my forehead has been clearing up of bumps as well as helping uh, my uh, my donut area. Uh, with the bumps as well so i'll start um when i'm in the shower i'll put the, the bar of soap in my hand and then i'll rub it on my donut area and on my forehead and um once i wash that off i'll hit my my donut area with the regular soap i'm still using the soap that the uh the clinic gave to me because i haven't run out uh, i don't want to waste anything so uh, i'm going to keep um using that until it runs out and then i'm going to use the um the shampoo that I bought for personally but uh yeah so with the Vinny cream bar along with the, the products I showed you in the other clip um that's that's the things that I've been using for my donor area and um you'll see shortly um that it has actually been working for me so this is currently what my hair is looking like at the six week mark uh, my hairline is holding strong. Uh, there's a little bit of growth. There's some baby hairs. Uh, this is my left temple. And um, I didn't have any temples before the procedure. So uh, my temples are looking pretty good, holding strong. And this is the right side of my temples. Um, the growth is there. And as you can see at the top, there's some growth coming in too. Um, so the video that I posted two weeks ago, I actually cut all my hair off so I can get to the um, the bumps. The top, I didn't cut much, but I did cut some of it off on um, with clippers. I probably shouldn't have did that. <laughs> but 
but um, as you can see in the previous um, photo, it did grow back. Um, so in the next clip, I'll show you what it's looking like two weeks after the cut. Alright guys, so this is what my donut area is looking like. Six weeks post-op, um, two weeks after a complete shave. Um, so this is two weeks after I cut my hair. As you can see, it's blending in with the rest of my hair. It's looking pretty dark and untouched. Uh, I didn't get a transplant in my, um, in my crown or the top of my head. So that's pretty much what my hair would look like on a normal day before the hair transplant if I cut it really low. Um, is looking untouched right now which is what I'm liking. I do have some bumps that um, I think will be gone in two weeks. Uh, as you can see from that angle right there is, is blending in with the size of my head. Uh, when I cut my head down I really didn't see any scarring. Um, maybe it's just me I don't know. But uh, yeah guys this is my six weeks update and uh, I'll see you guys in two weeks. For the two month update. Now if you have any questions just comment down below.